<laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Welcome, everybody. Now, this is a regular old bedroom. It's about seven and a half feet by 11 feet. So I took a regular bedroom here and converted it into a grow room. Let's go on a little tour of this facility here and I'll show you everything I've done. So there was just carpet here before and just four walls. But right here, this is a, a cloning area or a seeding area where you can start all of your vegetables from seed or clones. You'll grow them in here under these T5 grow lights. So I have two levels up here. So you could have actually some seedlings growing right here. And then down here, you can have a different stage because there's about two feet here of space and here it's just a set height. See right here, I have these set on these hooks right here and a chain so I can raise it all the way up. I could hook it all the way up to here if I want. So I can go up another four inches. So that gives me about 16 inches. So we could have one gallon containers in here and have them started out before we have to move them to a bigger area. So anyway, this is the first starter area where you can start your plants. And I have this reflective uh, material um, waterproof as a kind of a work area. And I can just wipe it off and bleach it. So you close the door, you still have this walking space right here. And uh, I have some storage up here. You can see extra storage, tools, and whatnot. Light switch. So let me show you in here next. Let's check this out. So we have our grow light with a dual intake. So the air again pumps through here, cools the bulb, goes this way. So all of your plants in here are sitting nice and cool. There's also an intake here. And also there is a important thing I should mention is down under here is the, another intake in the wall. I had to cut a hole. You can see that right over there. So this is the main intake for the entire room. If I built this shelf here, which is coated with this, uh, I glued down this plastic. It's a little worn out right now, but this is where I can spray stuff off. If I got to spray some plants with neem oil, I also put plastic up against the wall. I have some work shelves. Okay, let's go into the main room. First, before I open it, let me show you how it's constructed. Now, everything's overlapped with two and a half inches of plywood overlap at every seam, so the light can't get out. So this is very important. Then I also put sealant here because I was having a little bit of light leak. Uh, this black sealant was really, really strong. Um, I think it's like a roofing sealant that I used here. Okay, let's open it up. So here's the grand opening right here. Let's do this, ready? Oh, it's kind of dark in here now. Okay, let's take a little wider look. Now check out this design, how I did this. When this door opens, you can see I cut this at an angle. So when the door opens, I can still work in here. I can stand right here, but um, I don't lose all this extra space over here. If I were to have this plywood come out, I wouldn't be able to open the door. So that works out really good in the design. This one opens, so I still have room for my vacuum here. That opens to completely 90 degrees. So you saw how it was coming through here. Airflow is going into there from this other room. So it's pumping through and it goes converts from a four inch to six. And then from here, it goes into this 600 watt, cools that bulb down, flows into another one, cools this one down. And I haven't been operating the second one because um, it's too much heat in this small room, but this is basically how you can cool your bulbs down and get airflow. So all the airflow is going to be cooling the bulbs down and it's going to pump out, followed all the way over there. It comes back down and it pumps out of, out of here, out of the house. So once it comes back down out, 
I'm gonna show you under here where that air goes in a minute. But then there's also, now this is very important, another exhaust fan up here. This one will take all the air from the top of the room at the hot area towards the top and it'll suck all that air out. And the air has to come in also. So right here, again, this is the intake. I added this kind of twist to it so no light could get through it. And there's another air intake hole down here, which is light proof. Let me show you over here. This one's just coming down, getting cool air from down low. So I have air intake, and then that's gonna pump out. And if you can see that, it goes, it turns right around and comes back down, and it goes out here too. So wherever there's air coming in, you gotta have air coming out. So remember over there, that's where the intake, the main hole I put in the wall, that goes to another room. And then over here, so all the exhaust is coming down here. I had to come down low for the exhaust because I wanted it to pump into the storage. This other storage room I have outside. Oh, this is important too. You can add a, a layer of this uh, weatherproofing right here. And this will stop the light. So when you go to close it, so this plywood laps over. And then when you hit this latch, completely closed, it makes it super airtight. Okay, down here, this is where you're gonna run your ballast. You have two ballasts here. These get pretty hot. So you do want some ventilation in this area as well. So under here, it's nice hidden, hidden away down low, out of the way, all of our electrical. Okay, then let me show you up here. I'm gonna turn this on, watch this. This will turn on three different fans. The two exhaust fans, and the box fan. It's gonna be pretty loud. Okay, you can, that thing is just vibrating. Now you can feel it. Now one thing I did was, that's cool, is I, you can see right here, right here, these little rubber bushings. I added every layer, I added this rubber gasket under every single piece of material. So to dampen all the sound and vibration to the house, so there's literally no vibration in the other room. This is completely silent in the other other rooms. I can run two of these fans and hardly ever hear it or feel any vibration. Okay, there's the other one. There's the other one running right now. So that one's pumping air. And over here, let's turn this one on, watch this. Watch how this, this works. It'll stabilize, it'll just stabilize. So the fan, just the pressure of the wind will make your um, box fan to stabilize there perfectly. And then it's hanging from this chain, so as it goes up the chain all the way up to this plywood, which is also a separate layer, this, by the time you go up that whole distance, there's absolutely no vibration. You have to worry about carrying this fan very quiet in the other room, so once I close the door, let's turn this off. Okay, so again, what we're gonna do, so down on the bottom, what I'd recommend is using a waterproof membrane, um, like a plastic, a thick, heavy duty, a 10 mil or whatever it is, um, plastic that can be wiped down and bleached. So on the walls, we're gonna use all the reflective material going up the walls as high as you can. Now this is the highest I can set these right now. And I had to hook a chain up. I can lower them down. So if your plants are low down here, um, I'll lower the light down and as they grow, you, you move them up. So the way I designed this was to leave um, area for storage underneath. So I have about 16 inches. So I can slide under, you know, my tile saw, my table saw, you know, all these different large things can slide under there. It's the same thing over here, you know, more storage space. Um, I can put containers under there, under here as well. So we ran extension cord over to here and that circuit will run all these lights here and this and on this side and the, the exhaust fan as well. 
and then I have these other lights over here. The lights in here are gonna run off a separate circuit. So we have two separate circuits. I wouldn't run everything here on one circuit. So there you have it, folks. That's how it's all designed. Oh, let me show you the two, the three inch overlap. So right here, if you want it light tight, have like a, uh, a plywood strip. It's gonna cover about three inches all the way around. See here? So when you close it, it completely covers up the edge See down here as well. So you gotta have this and then add the weather stripping right here and that makes it completely light tight. And this is hollow, otherwise, look at this, just two, two by fours and it's hollow for 24 inches. That's all you need, very, very lightweight. Oh, look at this. Oh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Look at that. So let me just show you what it looks like. So if you come in like this, getting really bright. These things take a minute or so to lighten up, but once they are on, it is just gonna be blasting. Okay, so that fan's working really nice. I just love this setup, how I have it hanging there and just no vibration. It's very quiet. Okay, so there, that's how it works, folks. Right there, let's close this, close this up. Again, you can set these timers for um, the fans and the lights. Typically, you can go 18 hours on, six hours off per day on all the veg vegetative growth. So you just want things that just purely grow. Um, that's the 18 and six light schedule. So I'll you know, adjust this. And right here, if you just, you want it on timer, make sure you're on timer or if you just want to turn the light on, hit that right there. These are real nice for uh, setting your timers. So until next time, folks, don't let anything stop you from growing organic. And it's best when you do it yourself because you have com complete control. Oh, one more thing, one last final tip. If you guys made it this far, you guys deserve to have a little compost tea recipe, secret recipe. So what you're gonna what you're gonna do is take one cup human soil, two cups worm casting, one cup compost, two tablespoons rock dust, two tablespoons kelp, and then you will um, bubble that for 12 to 24 hours in a uh, five gallon bucket with about four gallons of water. And then the last hour, one hour prior to application, you're gonna add one quarter cup uh, frass, um, insect frass, one quarter cup vital fish hydrosylate or fish hydrosylate, and then two tablespoons mycos, mycorrhizal fungi. All right, guys, well, that's the complete tour. MTV Cribs. That's the Grow Room Tour. So, um, yeah, that's it. Oh, again, this is a four foot by seven foot six room. And it's uh, just about perfect because I can reach almost out to the edge over to here and work. It's a little little far of a reach, but I, you, can, you can do it. So until next time, folks, keep on growing organic. And don't forget to subscribe, click like, turn this light off, and let me turn this light off as well, and we'll see you guys next time. Good night.